We're staying in front of 3452 Brink Circle. Today's deal of the day. My name is Dave Detman, host of Flipping Florida and a real estate broker associate with Real Edge Real Estate Brokerage. This is today's latest acquisition. This was recently purchased through a courthouse, sheriff sale, or other type of sale. And this video documents the current condition of the home. And uh, the home is currently for sale as is if you wanted to buy it and fix it up yourself. Otherwise, our crews will go to work on this home in about 10 days. And about 20 days after that, or 30 days from today, you will see a beautiful transformation of turning this home into a br brand new looking home from top to bottom. Start by putting stats on the screen. There you go. It's a cute home. Uh, and uh, the first thing you notice is that it needs a roof. You can see the tarp up there. We already have two different roofers getting estimates. Uh, it's a small house, so it's not gonna be expensive. And uh, show you the neighborhood here. It's a nice area, but if you Google map this, you're not gonna believe how close this is to everything. You are right on the edge of, I mean, literally a block away from all the action. I'll start by taking you around the uh, front and back first. Coming around here, you can see we got a one car garage. I like the architectural design. I think it's very, very cute. Uh, garage door is in poor condition, so you should budget for a new door. That's on our list of things to do. Up underneath the soft, it's actually in pretty good shape, although it could be recocked. So once it's pressure washed, I think we recock all that. Uh, this gate needs to be repaired for this fence right here, or removed altogether. Coming back here, there's a side entrance here on the side of the door. AC. Uh, is appearing appears to be in good condition we won't know till we get the power on but it appears to be in good condition another old rotten piece of fencing here that will be thrown out but has this nice lanai back here so obviously that unfinished piece of plywood needs to be replaced and properly painted and finished but uh, it's a nice fully tiled lanai very cute backyard this is actually a cactus right here which is kind of neat and you can see the screens falling in on the eye, so that is definitely part of what uh, we do. And we also pressure wash the fence, so you got to pressure wash the fence. And a new screen door is needed right here. Underneath this lanai roof just needs to be cleaned up, caulked, and repainted. And if you wanted to, you could even remove this closet entirely um, because it is just an exterior storage closet that somebody added on uh, just to have some outside storage. Now, let's head back out here. Let's go inside the home. As we come around here, these are little areas of plant beds that you could clean up and put some of the plants in. Very be very cute. And uh, we would rescreen this because that screen is old. And also, you need a new storm door right here. Now, coming inside, we do have very nice tile entryway here and in the home the home is all tile it's got two kinds of tile you can see this nice white tile here as we step inside bring the camera up big windows old furniture here we have to get rid of and uh, somebody left their old big screen TV behind but uh, nice size living room 110 outlets on all the walls and then we transition into a different kind of tile right here this is our dinette right here. That dinette light isn't bad, you could keep that. And the kitchen's quite nice. It's got nice looking wood cabinets. Although I'd update that ceiling fan there. It does come with an older range. Don't know if it works. We'll tuck away from a microwave there. You can see lots of cabinets down here. They are the easy slide drawers and are in good condition. And here there's a Lazy Susan. And the mica tops are actually in pretty good shape too, and a stainless steel sink right here. Stepping out into the garage, we do have some junk out here, need to get rid of. Old lawnmower and a trimmer, and need to redo some drywall in here. Looks like uh, somebody's foot went through when they were up in the attic crawling around, so that's got to get fixed. But basically just some standard debris that's got to be taken to the dump. Do have a washer and dryer here at the end, as you can see. 
And while we're here, we'll make sure the main breaker is in the off position. There we go. So now they can turn the power on if they want. And water heater right here. So, that does it for this end of the house. So it needs a refrigerator, which goes right there. Let's head over here. And uh, this is a closet right here. So it needs to be cleaned up and this door cleaned up and painted, but it is operational. Bedrooms are carpeted. Bedroom number one right here. It's a nice size bedroom. A lot of nice light coming in from the windows. This is the master bedroom. Also has marble in the window sills. Missing closet doors. Pretty easy fix. Flat panel doors are in good shape. But if you wanted to do some work to them, I would probably just go down to um, Home Depot and pick up some Holocore 6 panel. They're only about $29 to $35 bucks a piece and put those in. And Master Bath has tile floors, nice oak vanity with cultured marble top. And it's a mirrored wet medicine chest right here. Right there over the toilet, also a little chest. And walk-in shower. And the tile's in pretty nice shape. I believe this will clean up very nicely. Doesn't even need to be recocked, so I think you'll be very happy with just cleaning that up. And then coming around here down the hallway, older light up here in the ceiling. I would probably update that to something more modern. Paint these doors. There's a nice sized closet right here with lots of storage. Then coming in here, another oak vanity, cultured marble top in good condition. Same setup here with the same uh, mirrors. And uh, blue towel in here, but in excellent condition. It'll clean up nicely. Matter of fact, everything in here looks like there's no reason to think it won't clean up very, very nicely. And some nice little mosaics right here on the sides of the tub, as you can see, of fish swimming. So I would probably put a new baseboard back. That looks like they never did reinstall the baseboard behind the toilet, and some water might have leaked at one time, causing that when they put this little stand in. And uh, never did quite fit this just right either, so I'd recommend some caulking there. Coming around here, the guest bedroom. Standard size bedroom, couple of windows, modern ceiling fan. You might want to keep that, kind of cool. Also, the windows are newer. I forgot to mention that, that these are a newer design window. And a closet and missing the closet doors. So that about does it for today's deal of the day. If you'd be interested in making an offer on this as is, before we start the work, my information is coming up on the screen in just a second. If you'd like to get on a mailing list to receive properties like this as they become available, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, as a subscriber, you will get videos sent to your email as soon as we post them, videos just like this one. Well, that does it for me. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I'd like to wish you and yours a blessed and wonderful day. You take care and God bless. Bye-bye.